three, two, one. Oh my God, that's cold. Wow. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, the coldest podcast in all the Midwest. Mm. I'm Miles, You Betcha Guy, here with Ryan, the t shirt guy. We have finally hit episode 200. Whoa. We are a bicentennial podcast. Look at thousand, us. thousand patrons, 200 episodes, new I mean, stew. The stars yeah. aligning. Wow. That's what we call that. Who'd have thought? 2023, Not guys. Not me. It's no, our me. year. You want to talk about Bird Box? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Jared. <laughs> really, Jared? Um, you kind of though. That yeah, it was a phenomenal. MG- MG- <laughs> we just did a whole episode <laughs> dedicated to rehashing Bird Box. After, it's all hey, after let's the- rewatch. No, after the dust settles, yeah, after, after the, the smoke settles. <laughs> yeah. What was it called? I have the URI. Is that a, is that after a the patron? Is that a Patreon episode? No, we did it on here. It was a regular. Yeah. Episode? They're all blended together now. <laughs> um. Yeah, after the smoke saddles review, <laughs> bird box. We should be box. That would be a good one. Well, we should do that because I think we released our first episode the first week of January. Yeah, that was when it was on the an- on the anniversary. We could we could do a after the smoke settles like ten minute review at the end. I'm down for it. <laughs> yeah. Our first ever. After the smoke settles with you. <laughs> you guys told me you would never, ever listen to that episode again. No, I'm not going to listen nah, to it. No, I'll just watch Bird Box oh. again. We're just going to... Oh, you're reviewing Bird Box. I thought you wanted We're to gonna review We're going to review episode. Bird Box yeah. after the smoke settles. <laughs> okay. And it has settled. I thought the smoke has settled on episode I would one. Say, I would say four years is enough time for the smoke to settle. It's I don't know about you right? guys. Unless there's a fi- like a five-year it, limit. I don't know. I don't know either. No, there's no limit. I, I mean, it's know. just... It, I think we're I think we're good though. What they call it statute of statute of limitations. I yes. think that's over by now for us. Yep. But it doesn't I don't know what that means. It doesn't matter if but it's, in this scenario. Like it, it's over you know what it means, that we though. can now do the review or <laughs> Correct, it's yeah. over. We can't we, we waited too long. <laughs> no, I think we can. <laughs> okay. I, I actually have no idea where that reference came from. It sounded good in my head. Yeah, it's it's not a loud. Yeah. Don't tie. Filler. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> you just said it, not us. Um, but you know, hey, I'm still licking my wounds after having Ann on the podcast. It's a rough one for me, but we did it. We're still together. That's good. Good sign. Wedding's still on. At least I think. Um, wedding's still on. At good. least I think. The hat's still on the floor. I nope. She made me pick up the hats. Okay, good. So <laughs> good. Have you found that you've lost or gained control on your relationship after that? Episode? You know, we don't view it as a, a power struggle like you <laughs> may view in your relationship. It sounds like you a, went home and she made you pick up your hats. No, it was voluntary. Oh, wow. You know, it was it was voluntary, but more so involuntary. Because, because just, she picked them up for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I love her so much, my body just automatically did it. Okay, that's fair. Um, <laughs> involuntary movement. <laughs> it was. It was involuntary <laughs> movement. She held a gun to my head and made me pick up the hats. But I wanted to do that because she had a gun to my head. <laughs> so really, <laughs> it was involuntary movement. <laughs> And I, yeah, like I said, we don't have the power struggle. Mm-hmm. We are mm-hmm. a we're a co relationship. <laughs> what? We 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 do the relationship together. It's not one of us. <laughs> it's is, just a relationship. Uh, <laughs> like you have relations between each other, you know. Coley, <laughs> Co- <laughs> coinciding with each other. Thank you. That was uh, <laughs> I, I knew I was going to get there. Coinc- we have a coinciding relationship with each other <laughs> means that the relationship is existing between both of us it's not just like tyler's relationship where he just barks at her all day more so like a two-way street not a one way yeah no it's not a one thank you, know you ryan You're it needs awesome. to be more like a roundabout to be honest <laughs> just go around and i actually around don't know what around. that means it sounds good yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. I like a diverging diamond. What sounds better, a roundabout relationship or a co-relationship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been it's really, all redundant. We've been really off and on lately. But yeah, Ugh. so she involuntarily, <laughs> I involuntarily picked up the hats. <laughs> <laughs> 
And just proceeded to put them in the pile in the garage. Yeah, there's a new pile in my <laughs> closet now. <laughs> pile moves from scattered around the living room to in the closet upstairs. The funny thing about the closet, too, is Anne cleans that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh no, the closet's kind of a black hole. If it gets sure. in there, it's it's a coincide. You may never see it again. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a black hole. <laughs> so just like Tyler's relationship we just found out. <laughs> you get in there, you ain't coming out. Yeah, I'll get you pregnant. <laughs> or yeah. Hey. <laughs> Once you're in, you ain't coming out until the job's done. Yep. Yeah, Tyler ain't coming out. I can tell you. He's definitely <laughs> coming in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Tyler's a big breaking and entering type of guy. <laughs> little B&E. <laughs> little bacon and eggs for breakfast, a little B&E in the evening. <laughs> that actually sounds really bad. Yeah. Forced his way in. Yeah. yeah. No, it, a two-way, it's yeah. a two-way street. It's a two-way breaking and entering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The door is unlocked. She's breaking. Sounds like a four lane divided highway. Breaking and entering and breaking and entered. Yeah. Entering while breaking in is actually, I think, the right. It's an E and B. Okay. Entering and breaking. It was an involuntary break in. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like you were busting the door down. (laughs) What did you say? No. Did you say he was busting? An involuntary busting of the nut. <laughs> right, Tyler? Yeah, most of the time it's just came it's, up on you after 30 seconds. Yeah. Just came up on you. It's almost like a combust combustion. <laughs> it's almost like you combusted and you just combusted. <laughs> Everywhere it was nuts. Spontaneous combustion is what you're trying to get to. Thank you. I yeah. couldn't think of the the, yeah. the prequel. This is great. We're all helping each other out here. <laughs> Coley, coincidingly, like we coincidentally spontaneously combusted. <laughs> hey, at least you're mutually combusting together. Yeah, <laughs> it's because it's a coal combustion. Yeah. You don't want to combust alone. Coal yeah. Combustion. Well, although we all do that quite often. Yeah, but there's it's just no... nice to co combust once in a while. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to co you don't want to combust when there's also someone in there trying to combust themselves. Some people are into that. Yeah, fair. Some people will co combust. We're not gonna combust shame no, here. No, they'll combust separately. <laughs> oh gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 More more it's more of like, hey, wait your fucking it's, turn. It's like mm-hmm. single combustion. <laughs> Dually. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time. <laughs> We haven't said a single Separately. intelligent word this entire podcast. No, what do you mean? These are all Webster's dictionary. Like, I'm be honest. Right. If you're still listening to our episode, <laughs> 200 you. episodes, I mean, yeah, you yeah. know what you're, you're getting, getting at this point. <laughs> We're an open buck. Right. Like the Webster dictionary. Yeah. Well, I'm, is Webs? No, that that's, you know, that's not on, just online. Anyways, feeling good today. Yeah. Feeling great. Feeling great. Um, this is our second episode today. Today, yeah, we this week also. Patreon earlier. Yep. So we are. I'm out of town next week, so we're doing a little early. Vibes are good, and and we got a good segment coming up here too. Yep. Uh, today it's best lessons we've learned. Best lessons we've learned. Tyler, what do you got? Uh, first one. One of the best lessons I've ever learned is water pipes do not support the average human's weight. You. Tr- Okay, hold on, hold on. I know where you're going with this. Please tell me you were trying to do pull-ups. Yes. I was. Okay. I was doing pull-ups. Thank God. Otherwise, this podcast would have taken a turn. You and your buddies were doing CrossFit at this time, weren't you? No, this was in high... I was in junior high. I was like in... Trying to impress a girl in a basement party. Fair. Close. I was trying to impress the upperclassmen in the wrestling room, and I hung from a pipe on the ceiling of the wrestling room, and one of the seniors... Came running over to me to tackle me off, and just guys being dudes. <laughs> it's all it just, uh, just a little uh, male camaraderie, <laughs> a little roughhousing, oh, you know. Yeah. A little bit of- I see a guy hanging from a pole. I want to just go wrestle him too. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, Locker room wrestling's the best. Okay, hey, post gym hey, class. Tyler was in the wrestling room. <laughs> Close. There's uh you can fact check me. There's the wrestling room being the articles. showers in the locker room. Guy tries to ta- <laughs> guy tries to tackle me off the water pipe. 
Water pipe breaks. Water <laughs> pressure sprays from one end of the room to the opposite wall. That'll, that'll happen. Fire alarms start to go off. It's during the finals of our conference wrestling tournament. So the gym is packed. Everyone's freaking out. I went to go hide in the stands after I did it. And then when the alarms went off, I panicked and went to go find the principal to tell him that the school wasn't burning down because the alarms were going off. Some idiot. Did you pass the box? No, I owned up to it then. I was gone. I was like, right away, I was like, hey, it's not a fire. There was a water pipe broke in the wrestling room. And he's like, how did that? And it was me. It was me. I did it. And then brought me to his office. A cop that was there for the tournament went and just gave my dad like the finger come here. Oh, while my dad's sitting in this. Sounds kind of hot. Honestly, well, come here, buddy. Hey, and, you up there? You want to get thrown in here? And Why then my dad let me cough you up. Huh? Then dad sniffs. Like, Thought I smelled bacon. And then he went with the cop. <laughs> really, Tyler? I, I, my dad said it, not me. You got a cop, buddy. Too. Anyways, what did your dad do? Um, I thought we were going to be homeless because in my eighth grade brain, I'm like, oh my god, my dad's going to have to pay for all of this. He doesn't have enough money. We're going to go broke. We're going to be homeless. So I'm sitting in the principal's office, like in tears, and dad comes in. And he's like, it's fine, dude. Don't be a dumbass. And like the hallway started to flood. So, <laughs> it's like a puddle of water at your and, feet. <laughs> so they started sand. It, it was like they were in the movie Titanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Essentially. When's the school going down? There was like, where the fuck is Rose? <laughs> <laughs> I still Get have my boat. I still haven't banged her yet. And now the ship is sinking. <laughs> I haven't finished my portrait. I'm trying to combust. <laughs> yeah, there's like trophies floating by. Yeah. What do you say? There's like trophies floating by. Just <laughs> hey, you just see ringworms floating around everywhere. Staff infection. Oh, there's a staff. Oh, there's a staff infection floating by. <laughs> Watch out for that. Not gonna want to rub your skin on that. Yeah, little psoriasis coming around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least everyone's already in like good swimming attire, wearing the leotards. Yes, everyone in the stands was. <laughs> it's like baseball. Fans have to dress up at wrestling yeah, matches. Absolutely. In a <laughs> yep. uh, but they literally had to sandbag the hallways so it didn't like go towards the gym. <laughs> Hang on. They just had sandbags on standby. Yeah, it was like the I, they had a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> It, it was, but, uh, like they were just expect. Like what else did they have? I, then, then, oh, and then okay, the janitor guys. was also there, just like constantly squeegeeing it the wrong way down the hallway. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys, we got another pull-up bar <laughs> drill going on. Get the sandbags. Nothing Rick, to be alarmed you, of. Rick, you're on squeegee duty again. <laughs> yeah. Eighth grader, lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> Kids crying. Why did hey? Here's a here's a question for you, Tyler. Um, I think we could have easily avoided all the sandbagging and stuff if you had just put in a cork in the pipe once it started going. <laughs> You're right. I couldn't find. Why did my they cork? have sandbags on hand, but they didn't have a cork on hand? Well, they turned the water off, but there was still so much in the hallways they had to barricade it so it wouldn't like trickle down everywhere. So how do you get that water out? Um, I'm not sure how they did it. I would assume everyone, everyone just has to scoop with their hands and then run quick outside <laughs> and throw it. All right, you got a two pound weight allowance. Start zamboning. Yeah, it was, it was a tough look for me. Yeah, that'd be good. Freeze it, then chop it up, carry oh. it out as ice. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> yeah, that'd be not a bad idea. Liquid nitrogen, just throw that down. If I can freeze it. I don't know. No, with dry ice, put some dry ice in there, freeze it up. Well, it won't be dry if they put it on the water. You can put some wet <laughs> be ice. Be wet. In it. <laughs> how would you? How would you freeze that much? Uh, in a quick. Well, manner? it's very winter time. You just throw it outside. Yeah, or just open the window. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Just freeze it out. And then all the other pipes start freezing and bursting. <laughs> Damn it, this really backfired. <laughs> well, no, hot air rises. All the cold air is down below on yeah, the floor. Hey, so it's just... <laughs> no, yeah. Kids, what, bring you, your ice skates to school on what, Monday. What you should have done is... What's like... There's like a thing where if you like spray shit on it, it freezes it instantly. What is that? Like on the Batman movie. That's just Mr. Freeze. <laughs> so you get Mr. Freeze... <laughs> You just freeze the end of where all the water's coming out, and then it would just stop it. Mm -hmm. I wish. If I that's, had a freeze gun, that would have been my the first homemade choice. Cork. Yeah. We were talking about. A cork would have been great, though. How did yeah. you? You had sandbags, but you didn't mm -hmm. have a cork. Oh, yeah. yep. <laughs> hey, I just realized why they have the phrase, put a cork in it. Yeah. <laughs> stop the bleeding. Stop flooding. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but then, that wasn't very smart. No, I learned my lesson though, and it's a good lesson. That to is learn. true. You know, that's what this segment's all about, I suppose. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, they put 
all the exposed water pipes in the school after that, people just kept hanging signs on them that say, do not hang on pipe, Tyler. <laughs> so that was fun. Those were there until I graduated. Oh, They're probably still there. If that was if that was at my school, I would have edited those signs <laughs> just for the better. Well, it's nice it was so personal too. Mm -hmm. Personalized to yourself. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow, we what was do it, Tyler? What was it? Do not hang on pipe, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> do no suck. more. So they were there. No more laying suck. on pipe. No more laying pipe. Yeah. Do you know yeah. Yep. It'd have been. Yeah, every single sign would have been edited. We got a new wrestling room out of the deal, though. So I essentially I did everyone a favor Time in the out. long run. Is your high school? Did they pay you to do that? Are they running a ra <laughs> insurance racket? <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, did, they, did they commit insurance? That's fraud? why the sandbags were on hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if someone's gonna start a fire, hey, they'd have fire. Hydrant. Starting to sound a little suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> no cork. But sandbags. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like insurance fraud to me. Sounds uh, like they wanted the water to come out of the pipe. I've signed yeah. an NDA. This is I've already divulged as much as I can legally. Statute oh. of limitations. Yeah. It's not here yet. Episode 300, the statute will be lifted. Do you even know what NDA stands for, Tyler? Uh, Non-disclosure agreement. Good. That's good. I think he signed one. <laughs> oh After knowing God. that, I think that was my test. That was my one test to see if he really had signed it. He has. So... <laughs> Yep. Statue. Hey, your secret's safe with us. <laughs> Not the internet, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Ryan, what is the lesson that you've learned? Um, it's kind of just an overall life lesson, but if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> Ryan, you're married. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with, the, with so relationships, the, Tyler. So okay. about, yeah, I just wonder. The, the best thing you've learned as a human is that if you ain't cheating, you're, you ain't trying. One of the best lessons, yes. Okay. Elaborate. Either comes to school. Elaborate. I want you to now come out and tell us everything you've cheated on. High school school high school homework <laughs> in general. Wow. Yeah. Um no, but actually that one is doesn't apply to this rule at all. Because I <laughs> cheated because I was not trying. No, I was trying. I was more I was more so just being resourceful. It was actually if you ain't cheating, you're trying. In high school, actually. Yeah. High school. That's, that's, that's a good point. You're trying. Yeah. But if you're that, that, that actually doesn't apply to what you said <laughs> at but, all. But if you are cheating, you're being resourceful, which I think is another good lesson learned in right in life is to be resourceful. Well, you're trying not to try, really. It's kind of a there's you know. a I mean I can't talk my way out of this one. So the best lesson lesson you ever learned was if you ain't cheating, you're trying. No, if, if you ain't trying, it, cheat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's where I was getting at. Oh yeah, it was, huh? If you ain't trying, just cheat it out. Yeah. It's fine. What else have you cheated in? Um how many PEDs have you done in your life? <laughs> Division three. You didn't win cared. the championships. So Zero to take any trophies away from you. Um, I mean I, I outside of school, I mean sports a little bit. Golf course what? quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's um, fair. Wait, what? Golf course cheating. Yeah. We've all done Oh, I it. thought you were talking about PEDs. I was like... You, you no, I've actually never done PEDs. I can show you, too. What do you mean you can show me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Ryan keeps a track record of all the drugs he does, and if you take a look at his log that dates back to 2002, there's not a single <laughs> PED on there. So, we're good. No, Just show I, me your log after this. I'll believe it. <laughs> well, I'll show you the log and show you that I haven't done PEDs. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You've kept a journal. A journal, yeah. Last yeah. night, I took acid for the first time. <laughs> quite Not the, a PED, Quite though. the drug. More so, just, uh, it just opens up new parallel universes. It didn't enhance my performance, though. No, I, I was trying to think of a life lesson I've learned. That I mean, that's... I think it just comes down to school for me. It's like I it was more again more so being resourceful than actually just having to try. High school is probably the easiest thing on planet Earth. It's not hard. It's pretty easy. Yeah. And if you can't, I mean, if you can't get through high school, I mean, even cheat your way through high school, then you just gotta like mm -hmm. maybe get the GED or something. You could cheat your way through that too if you were doing <laughs> you right. Probably could. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, just gotta I mean, find someone willing to let you look at their test. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's gonna be the same test in the GED. They're not gonna mix them up side by side yeah. like they do the ACT. I cheated on that too. <laughs> really? No. Oh. So that's what, what I got. It's it's nothing groundbreaking. I'll maybe come up with another one while you go, Miles. Uh Jared's gonna go. Uh, I'm also still coming up. I with got one. another one. 
Go ahead. Uh, one of the lessons I've learned in my life is do not say your mom jokes to Europeans. Or to you. Oh, I, or, yeah, <laughs> to me too, I guess. Because um, that's not cool. No. To Europeans? Yes. We had an Italian foreign exchange student, and I did a your mom joke to him in high school, and he was going to fucking fight me. And like he is one of the nicest, calmest guys uh, ever. Language barrier. Probably mom is something means something different. No, it's over just there. like that's the most offensive thing you can say. They, yeah, it's, they say mum. They yeah. say M U M. And so it probably was a language barrier thing. So, Mom's so, probably so Mamma Mia. Yeah. <laughs> Mamma Mia. That's how they say it over there. So you probably offended him in a way you didn't even know. Mm -hmm. It was a classic uh misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the way it was I was I learned about it. He told me that like that's one of the worst things you can say to somebody. What was the joke? I don't know. It's probably something stupid. He's probably like, I don't know. Look at that pipe you broke, Tyler. I'm like, yeah, your mom would break that pipe too. You know, like something stupid like that. <laughs> and <laughs> and he she was so offended. Oh no! If he, I know Europeans like I think I do, that was the wrong thing to say, Tyler. Well, I can. He probably threw a shot. Oh, of a shot through. I'm be honest. I can't I can't believe you're still even here today. I, that's a murderable offense if yeah. you do that. If I know Europeans like I think I do. I wasn't going to let no string bean Italian kill me. <laughs> uh, his dad was probably part of the mob, too. I don't know what string Maybe. bean has to do with this, but... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to let him. You know he doesn't like beans. You don't like green beans. Green beans and string green beans, beans are casserole. different. They're damn near... The same, same bean, different pew. <laughs> same bean, different vine. Different pod. Yeah. That's peas. Um... I got one for you. Okay. One of the best lessons I learned is when you are rotoing, short for rotating, a bottle of booze around a group to drink it gone, you got to make sure everyone else is also drinking out of the bottle. <laughs> there could be some ghost drinks going on This happened on to there. me in college. A lot of ghost drinks. I ended up drinking like a three-fourths of a bottle of whiskey. We were going out downtown somewhere. Didn't make it. There is. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It... So by by the time the bottle was gone, you had just realized. I was like, I've drank you know, it's like everyone's fucking thing. doing their thing, the pregame. Like everyone's passing it. And I'm just like doing my thing, passing it. But apparently no one else was really drinking out of it. It was just kind of just me passing it. And then like when it would come, you know, by myself. So you were just taking the long way around of passing it hand to hand. It was like it, it, it would have been very similar if I had just had taken a drink and then just held it for like 30 seconds and then taken another drink. You sure you guys weren't playing like Uno, like the through the reverse card? I don't there. know what was Sent going back on, to but I didn't get the memo on whatever we were doing. <laughs> he was half a bottle of whiskey. He's like, well, there's a half a bottle left. But also... Cool. All of his friends were confused, like, why does he keep handing this off? This is his. Take it back. This. It was like on Home Alone when they're passing the bag down, like, this is for Kevin. It's for Kevin. And then they pass. Kevin's not pass here. Kevin. Kevin's not here. <laughs> I pass it this way, and then they pass it back. I don't want this. Yeah, I don't pass want the this. miles. And uh, so I drank a lot of that. And then we were getting a ride downtown, and I just puked out the window of the car <laughs> all the way down the side of this car. And it wasn't Uber, so there was is it? a group of people that all have videos of me. <laughs> I mean, I was, you know, I was getting close to, well, it was probably eight falls ago. And, <laughs> and I, of me with my head out the window, just puking down the side, going down main street, people waiting in line to get into bars. And then I just woke up on a couch the next day. God, you guys aren't feeling like and then sick I, or anything. And you know, to my buddies, I was like, how the fuck did I get home? They're like, yeah, the girl drove us. She like brought you home. And I was like upstairs. So I, did she like fireman carry me up there? I don't know. But there's some angel woman out there that made sure you, I didn't you don't die. Know who it you is. don't even know who it is? No, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> So the lesson is, if you're going to pass around a bottle of booze, make sure everyone else is also drinking out of it. Also, just a good rule of thumb, if uh, make sure that thing isn't drugged. Uh, that's part of the fun. Kind of like roulette. <laughs> Could, but if everyone's drinking out of it, it's just like then you're gonna <laughs> then you're all the drunk. Movie, you're gonna live the movie hangover. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you either know it's safe or they're also drugged. Hmm. So, or you could just, or you could just purely blame you, it on I got drug last night. I don't know what yeah. happened. Well, that's that's also a lesson that you learn, right? Someone hands you something to drink, you hand it back to them. And go, you drink it first. Yeah, make sure it's not poisonous. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. I'm actually, it's that's sober, a great sober. lesson we've learned from our dads. 
check to make sure it isn't poisonous. Yeah, dad tax. The old dad tax. Yeah. yeah. Um, another lesson I learned is you can't dance in a phone booth. <laughs> that was <laughs> old football coach would tell me that. Bats in a cave. Bats in a cave. Uh, can't dance in a phone booth. Have you ever tried to mean? dance in a phone booth? I've never been in a phone it's booth. It's fucking tight in there. You can't <laughs> dance. And I think loosely, he never he never actually gave us the meaning. So you don't know the symbolism. But I it. think is if you close like as because it was a defensive coach. So if you close him in and get him tight, he can't juke you. Sure. AKA dance you. In a, if you close in on him like a tight phone oh, booth. Yeah. Sure. Mm. So I think that was the answer to that. But you just you can't dance in a phone booth. It's not wrong. We did find a video, though, of someone actually dancing in a phone <laughs> booth, and we showed it to him, and he was so mad. This whole <laughs> shtick was crumbled. It's like, Coach, you're, you were wrong the whole time. <sighs> but, yeah. I would say another lesson I've learned is if someone buys you a drink at the bar, make sure you buy them one back. Yeah, that's I think a that's life a simple lesson. life lesson of like, um, yeah, never let anyone get two drinks ahead of you. What do you mean huh? by that? Meaning like, like, don't let the person buy back to back for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Or don't get let someone back. buy drinks all night without getting them back. Um, yeah, but okay, there's an exception to that. What's, what's Everyone's the got the hot shot friend that likes to whip his dick out and swipe his credit card for everyone and buy everyone drinks. You're not buying that guy another round. No, I mean, it, as long as it's offered. Hey, man, let me get this next one. No, no, no. Fucking uh, credit card limit yeah, just yeah. got increased. The offer goes a long way. Yeah, Even big if time. you like know the person's going to turn it down, like, wow, I've done this there to you, you at the bar before. Like you, like you just you get happy go lucky drunk when you're at the bar. You're like, put everything on my tab. I'm like, can I get you something? And you're like, nah, nah, no. Nah. But I offered, so then I'm gonna start making them do it. <laughs> you are the class, and once you get into a rhythm at the bar, ah, fine. Well, it's because you guys tab. work here. Yeah. So if you like, I'm, I don't do that. Like, if I go out with my buddies, I'm not just like the, I'm not the douchebag that's wrong. No, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm with you. Oh, you guys work for me. I want to like this pay for your drinks. But also, at some point, let us get you one back. Also, tax right off. <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> Working. Less, just free less, booze. less taxable it's income. Free yeah. It's free money. I still don't get tax write offs. Well, the, go the Gov just pays for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Gov. <laughs> Mr. Gov. Mr. G dot G O V. <laughs> Reliable source. Um, yeah, that's a good. I mean, that's like a real actual lesson. Because I've been in I've been in a situation too, and if I buy someone a drink, I never expect one back. But it's like in the back of your mind, you're just like, Be nice okay, maybe they're just like, I'll have a beer show up if I'm getting low. There's been times where it's just like I'm fucking dry for a half hour, and then I'll go up and get another round. Also, if I'm at a, a group of people at a table, and I am going to get myself a drink, I feel like you always got to ask if mm -hmm. anyone else needs something, whether the whole table does or whether it's just you. Like it's just it's. It's the niceness factor of us being in the Midwest, yeah. right? Do you ever, sometimes I'll do that and then I kind of like get annoyed if too many people take me up on it. I'm like, I don't want to carry that many. Drink. I can't carry I don't want to carry all those back. No, what you got to do then is just go, Ryan, you're coming with me. Help me carry some stuff. Yeah, you got a buddy to BS with at the bar. Yeah. yeah. Or you just get shots and then you get the little platter. Yeah. The platter's sweet. That helps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But there's like, there's been several times where, like, does anyone want anything? And then too many people raise their hand. And I'm like, oh, I was just trying to be fucking nice. You're all supposed to say no. Or just get a pitcher. They're drinking That's what you're buying, idea. right? Yeah. A pitcher of just beer, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So a pitcher of shots would be... A pitcher of shots? Or, yeah, a pitcher of Long Island iced tea or oh, something. Yeah. We got to start drinking out of pitchers more. Yeah, we do. Can I get a pitcher of uh, Whiskey 7? <laughs> <laughs> for who? Ah, uh, For me. There are some bars that do that. Well, yeah. They do like a yeah. mini pitcher. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to add another lesson. Like, just because there's a good deal on booze doesn't mean you need to get it. Mm. Mm. They will the get pitcher you of all. Long Islands, you'll end up like Miles on a random couch. Yeah. <laughs> They'll sneak up on you quick. God, that sucked. But I had the wherewithal to... <laughs> <laughs> wherewithal to puke outside the car. Hey, that was good. good. She probably went to the car wash on the way home, cleaned her off. But yeah. That's brown yeah. decal. So you, the only thing you owe her is a car wash. Well, and my life. And your life. So if you're that, if you're that woman out there. <laughs> and that, everybody, was Anne. And that was Anne, yeah. No. Anne was, wasn't even old enough at that point <laughs> to be even driving. 
<laughs> what is the age difference? <laughs> like four years. I don't know. <laughs> when do you start driving again in Minnesota? 16. <laughs> oh, yeah. She could drive. <laughs> she definitely. She just had middle school graduation. <laughs> she wasn't even a twinkle in her father's eye, you know? <laughs> she was still in her father. <laughs> Hmm. That's just too far. That's too far, Ryan. The twinkle in the eye wasn't that a reference. That's exactly what I meant. But you just said it more vulgarly. Jared, you got one? Uh, not really. It's so hard because I could come Algebra. up with them randomly. Yeah, I feel like good Algebra? life. Algebra. It's a lesson. Oh, great life lesson here. You don't have to buy an expensive boat. You just gotta have a friend with an expensive boat. That could not be any more true. Same thing goes with lake cabins, mostly lake involved mm, things. Sure. Jet skis. Private jets. Uh, <laughs> private jets. Private jets, yep. Uh, hunting, hunting land. land. Mm. Um, what else? Vehicles. What else? You just got to have a friend that has this. Vehicles. Hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub. A although, pool. A what? A pool. Yep, a pool. Snowblower. Snowblower. Yes. Um, I think that's about it. That's it. <laughs> Golf simulator. A bar, Golf simulator. Bar at their house. Yep. Basically, anything that costs way too much, don't buy it. Just become buddies with someone that has one. Yeah, or if you have a buddy that you know can afford it, just bully them into getting it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, oh, dude, you or, should. Or find out how he ticks, you know? Yeah. Like, hey, <sighs> Derek down the street just got this new wake boat and he's been just running her. And, like, oh my God, like, <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many chicks are throwing themselves at, at him. Like, way more than you got thrown yeah. at you. <laughs> yeah. I can't come off the lake with you this weekend, man. Sorry. I'm Derek heading to Derek's down Derek's yeah. cabin. He's got the. He's got the boat. Oh, what, what, what was that? You're. You're headed to the dealership right now. You need someone to help you carry drinks. <laughs> well, because here's the thing: the dealership. It, <laughs> Good your life jacket. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick card. up a couple of gas cans just in case. Here's Logan, fill up the fill up the boat. We'll go right out to the lake. Don't even come home. Yeah, no, you, none of your buddies are buying a boat just to go by themselves. They're looking for other buddies to get out. Exactly. With. So, like, why not be that buddy? Mm-hmm. I don't. I feel like anyone in this room is desperate enough to like. Hey, I'm gonna go buy a boat. So, oh, you know, fucking Miles will come out to the cabin this weekend. I nah, kind of actually wish I don't buy a boat, so you guys don't come out to the cabin. Actually, <laughs> that's the play. <laughs> haven't bought a boat yet. Yeah, that's why I haven't bought. You a did boat. buy Ice House though. I did. So now, okay, now yep. the Ice House is another one. And you know what I did last winter? I went out there by myself and fish. It was beautiful. It was peaceful, wasn't it? It was. I even called and asked if I could come with. He said no. <laughs> I, I said I spent enough I money for like peace and quiet. I was going through a tunnel on the phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've all driven the route to that lake, and we know there isn't a tunnel. Yep. <laughs> okay, question. You brought up a hot tub, right? Yes. Question. How old is too old to be hanging out in a hot tub with your friends? I think we're getting to the age. But here's you're the- still hanging out in hot tubs with your friends at like 30, 35, starting to get a little strange. So here's my counter to this. Who are the most frequenters of hot tubs? Old, Old men. Dudes. Right. So you is there just are you saying there's a period when you stop going into the hot tub and then when you start again? Well, our old dudes, all of the old dudes' friends are dead. So is he just getting in the hot tub by himself? No, no, no. You go to like the community center and I'm DL. talking about <laughs> a home. We're not at the fucking YMCA. It's all of dudes. course you're gonna get into a YMCA hot tub by Never your, with someone else. Never specified. I'm talking about a home, a personal hot tub that sits on your patio or yard or something. PHT. I don't know. I don't own one, nor do I have anyone that does. I think once you get past the age of like 25, you got to maybe really? shut it down on the- I'd say you go pretty old. I was going to say Like with 50. your buddies, yeah. though. If, I, yeah, I'd say like 50. So if Ann and I invited you and your significant others over- Absolutely not. 
to get in the hot tub together, that wouldn't be fucking weird. I don't. I, I, I don't I, think so. I wouldn't go at all. It would be weird. It would be weird. It would be weird. Yeah. And how old are you, Tyler? 28. Because you're too old for that shit. Yep. I'm getting too, too old, old for this shit. shit. Why, why do I feel comfortable going in the hot tub with you? Well, we've know. also <laughs> shared moments together. You know, I'm okay with Ryan. We, we yeah. shared the hairball hotel together. That is true. Well, we've slept in a lot of hotel rooms together. I just I think we're too old to be getting in hot tubs together. Now, what I was thinking was like, we're just taking a bath together. It's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but without shampoo though, or or body wash. Like, yeah, there's chemicals in it already for that. True. Like, like, hey, you so and so's having a party this weekend. It's fucking dope. He's got a ping pong table, pool table. We'll have the game on. He's got a hot tub too. So bring your trunks. Are you fucking bringing your okay, trunks? Okay, now that you put it that way, <laughs> it's just, weird. Oh, and, and also, I'm just going across town. I don't need to be bringing my trunks across <laughs> town. If I like, if it's summertime and I have shorts on or something, all right. You guys really want to go in the hot tub? I'll go lake. in the shorts. Maybe at the lake, you got a hot tub overlooking Lake's the lake. a different story. You're already in your trunks. Yep. Maybe. The lake is just a glorified hot tub. In the summertime. It's a really big hot tub. So you're, That's you're already- not hot at all. <laughs> That's actually pretty cold. It's just a tub. Yeah. A glorified tub that yeah. you're in with your buddies. I just, you know, it's great for personal use within your own family. And if you're 25 is even pushing it. If you're under the age of 25, it's fine. Like college parties in a hot, in a ho- like you go home with like your, someone's parents invite, you know, all that stuff. Like no high schooler got a hot or a college kid's got a hot tub, but <laughs> maybe inflatable one. Never cheap. Yeah. Coleman. Coleman. Yeah. I was I just, Tyler, <laughs> was it case in point, just had to personalize it for yeah. you to realize how weird that yeah, would be. I absolutely would not. I was thinking more in a sense of like when your kids are old enough to start hot tubbing with your friends, like the fifty year old dad chilling in the hot <laughs> yeah. tub with his kid is hey Jimmy, yeah, that's a- <laughs> Continue. Hey, Jimmy, what? Some nice friends you got there, Jimmy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Jimmy, you got a good group of friends right there. (laughs) Yeah. I'm thinking that, I mean, that's obviously weird. I mean, honestly, I think we're getting to the age where, (laughs) unless you're at the lake, like, I guess a pool. Too. I was gonna say I'm a, a backyard big, pool. I'm a big hot tub at hotels guy. I know we're talking about home ones, but I love going to the yeah, hot tub. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. Yeah, especially if you flew there. <laughs> <laughs> like you've been on a fucking plane. All they day. got a Holiday Inn down in Charleston, South Carolina. Fucking sick hot tub. <laughs> Me and the wifey are gonna go down for a for a no, couple's weekend. Tyler's, Tyler's <laughs> just like fuck. I can't go sit in my buddy's hot tub. It's weird. So I just. I just went over the Holiday Inn across town and jumped <laughs> yeah. in there. Five dollar free swim. <laughs> <laughs> Friday and Saturday from eight to ten. I don't know like, why this he is walks, such a weird take. He walks. He walks. <laughs> no, it's not. He walks up. He goes, "Hey, you got hourly race?" And then he's like, "For a for a room? Like, what kind of establishment do you think this is?" <laughs> no, the hot tub. Looking for about an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, free swim doesn't start for another half hour. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a day pass thing. <laughs> the the trap the. Like I would stay in a, I would go in a in a hotel hot tub after I drove somewhere. Yeah, I just say like, flying. I don't know why, but I'd re- it it's different after you flew all day. It, it just hits different. It does. It, does, it yeah. does. Are you a morning hot tub guy or a evening? Evening. Evening, yeah. evening before bed. Have you ever sat in a hot tub in the morning though? Yeah, it is nice. One time, a cup of coffee. Over twenty five, <laughs> I was in a hot tub with my buddies. <laughs> At a wedding in Colorado, we all sat in the hot tub the morning of the wedding, but it was like in the mountains, so that was Again, cool as shit. It's not a personal hot tub. Yeah, if you are the one upkeeping the chemicals in the hot tub, you can't be inviting your friends over. Yeah, a destination hot tub's the only acceptable hot tub to yeah. be in with your buddies. <laughs> destination hot tub. Destination hot tub. Who's yeah. got the best hot tub in the U.S.? Yeah. The only people who are inviting their friends over and going in the hot tub over the age of 25 are like drug dealers <laughs> or swingers <laughs> or swingers or swingers. Yeah. yeah. But hey, like you hit, you know, you're 40 years old. It's like, fuck, I'm buying a hot tub. You got to share that with somebody. Your family. Okay. <laughs> is it? That's who should be getting in the hot tub. <laughs> Man, yeah. just got this saltwater hot tub. No are, chemicals needed. You want to come over and swim? <laughs> are people still <laughs> buying hot tubs? Because I, I feel like spying this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, we had a guy on the Bellied Up podcast found where all podcasts be found. 
um, who called. He was a hot tub salesman. Over, he seems yeah. to be that mm. business was booming. Okay. Mm. I actually think it probably became a lot bigger during COVID. Yeah. And when you can't fly to a hot tub, you got to get your own. Yeah. yeah. But also, no one's coming over because it's COVID. Yeah. That's true. It's a family hot tub. It's a family fucking hot tub. There's a max capacity. Rel- related to you is the is the max. Ryan, capacity. yes. Answer this truthfully. What's the max number of times you've peed in a hot tub? Oh man. <laughs> well, what's the number of times I've been in a hot tub? <laughs> I mean, like double in that one, in one sitting. <laughs> oh, in one sitting, three hours you've been in there. It's a long time. Three hours, 180 minutes. Probably 20 divided by 180 divided by 20. I don't know, probably seven. <laughs> So <laughs> gross. That's enough to, to raise about, the water level. Just to think about how much in such a confined area of how much piss is in the a chemicals hot tub. though. The chemicals I do know, it for it's me. Just still gross. Do you guys have the? I have a weird fear of peeing in pools or hot tubs because of that one rumor that went around in like eighth grade that the water would turn. No, diet. wasn't it grown ups where they yeah. piss in the pool? Yeah. Yeah, good there's movie. the rumor before that Fuck too. That movie. It was like, it was good. I was so scared to pee in pools because I thought I would be in a cloud of my own piss and everyone would see it. But you just gotta just you gotta just let a little out and just, <laughs> just, just uh, literally test the waters. Uh, yeah. 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 That's where Is that, that phrase yeah. comes from. Testing the waters. You gotta test the waters with a little <laughs> squirt of pee out, and then <laughs> if it's not blue, then you're good. Or you just do it by a group of people and blame it on one of them if it is. Yeah. Bad. As it's as you're walking away, it's just <laughs> as you're running away. <laughs> it's following me. Get it off of me. No, you it just follow one seconds. person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time you pee, instead of going away from people, you stand next to people. <laughs> you bear hug your buddy and run away with him so no one knows who it is. <laughs> You're like pissing under the leg. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a funny prank. Let's say you get gun to your head. You got to go to this hot tub party with someone over the age of 25. You dump some of that chemical that turns your pee blue in the hot tub. And you can guarantee you ain't going to have to sit in that hot tub for very long. Cause someone's gonna let it rip, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be blue daba di daba die. Yeah, and Whatever everyone's gonna be like, oh, this is kind of, and then that's the moment where everyone, like the, you know, like you're having fun, and then all of a sudden, like a veil of reality washes over you. are Like it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> We're all just pissing in this little tub together. It's kind of fucked up. Or you're just getting too hot, and you're like, oh, I don't want to be the first one that's too hot and get out first. So you just oh, well, the sitting up on the side yeah, is just, always on. Yeah, <laughs> just your yeah. feet in the water. That that's the weirdest thing. Once once one person's hot, I feel like party's over. If the party even started to begin with, well, it's a hot tub, man. What do you mean? Ew. Uh, no, the awkward. So there's there's a different kinds of sitting out though, right? It's like. Feet out that like, I've seen people like go on there like 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 in a catcher stance in the water just to get the raise them up a yeah, little bit. A little squat action. Um I've seen up on the side, you know, it's the home one is you're a little bit more in the water. Yeah. But the ones I got hotels, like you're almost completely out of the water. Or you got the guy who's just way too fucking hot. So he literally gets out and just leans over the side of the hot tub <laughs> to engage in the conversation oh, yeah. still. Yeah. It's yeah. another good one. Which is always fun if there's the hot tub's full and he just leans on it and he's got his head right in between two other people. Yeah, yeah. And how do you decide, like, jets or no jets? I, mean, I think it's owner's decision. I mean, okay. If, if, if it's not just you and your family, you have to do jets. Otherwise, it's just like you're sitting in the tub together. It's just quiet. <laughs> it's just yes, strange. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see what's going on underneath the water. <laughs> If you can see what's going on underneath the water in a hot tub, it's it, it makes it so much weirder. Sitting in a hot tub with no jets is just like taking a bath together inside. Yeah. It, that, that's, a, that's a weird thought. Not doing that. You ever think about if you're... Did you say you can see the cloud of piss coming up? Did you, did you say that? Like if there's no jets, like, you know, there's like a... I mean, if you're dehydrated, you're drinking, you're dehydrated, you can like, you can, there's a cloud, right? And it's a cloud of piss. I don't think so. I don't. You ever piss in a clear bowl of, a clear toilet bowl? Yeah. <laughs> How it clouds up? 
If you ever fucking just pissed in a five gallon bucket full of water, you can fucking see it. <laughs> it clouds up. If there's no you gas, ever, you, you ever see the been cloud. to the fucking? You ever been to the uh, sporting goods store and pissed in the fucking fish tank? You can fucking see it. <laughs> Come on, guys! Right, we've done that. <laughs> Jets are off. You just can't. You can't hold anymore. You start pissing. You're like, yeah, guys. Weather's coming through. <laughs> Clouds are over. We gotta get out. <laughs> oh, Ryan, what are we gonna do with you? We're gonna go have a hot tub party after this. <laughs> hey, no matter how this goes down, you guys want to go get in the hot tub? Nope. Over twenty five. All right. <laughs> See you there, Tyler. Okay. We're gonna take a break. All right. <laughs> Ryan, tell me what season it is. Oh, let's see. Whiskey season. I thought you were going to say holiday season. Well, it could be both. Because that's what I was looking for. Depends on what type of guy you are. It's holiday season. No, it's whiskey season, Ryan. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'll shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) And nothing's better in whiskey season than whiskey. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And you know what I'm drinking right now, both of you guys? (laughs) Some whiskey? Some Revelstoke. And some whiskey. Ah, (laughs) Some Revelstoke whiskey. What kind you got today? I got the old son of a peach. Give me a whiskey. That was good, guys. Nathaniel Ratliff. Um, This son of a peach is going down easy. Speaking of peach and cops, and (laughs) you want to give this a try? Is this the stuff I tried the other week when I was made my I don't know, sneak but peek? I th- you're going to love it. That yeah, face. You're, you're, peach, <laughs> you're a peachy gal. Oh, yeah. No, pe- yeah, I like peach flavored things. You're like a summer peach, you know? I'm just always happy and vibrant. Yeah. This is there Anne's go, official taken. review. Mm, that's pretty good. And mm-hmm. Anne doesn't like that much whiskey. No. So. I don't drink much whiskey, but that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't this be nice on a nice, cool winter day? Oh, yeah. Warms you up from the inside out. That's mm-hmm. what this son of a peach is all about. Son it's actually what I call Anne at home. <laughs> son of a peach. <laughs> Better than the other way, other thing. I, I know. I know exactly. Son of a peach, where are you going? Um, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> but not only do they got the peach flavored, they also have, and Anne's gonna love this one. Yeah. They have the. Uh, Smorgasm. <laughs> yeah. Great at 8 p.m. when cops comes on. <laughs> Ryan and I are both smorgasming right now. Yeah. yeah. Smorgasm Revelstoke whiskey is great for watching cops. Yeah. You chase that with 27 OZs of water. Chase, good God. one. God. <laughs> During the cop chase? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, smorgasm. what are you drinking? What do you got over there? I'm also smorgasming all over in okay. this glass. They also got the pecan, pecan pie one. That is the, hold on, press the button. Nuts. Crusher pecan whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Tyler. Let's do it again. It's, it's what's actually, that whiskey called? Nuts. Crusher. It's actually shell shocked, <laughs> but it says nut crusher on the back. Yeah, it's a whole yeah. thing. Uh, but you got it. The I, joke got, hit. I got oh the gist. My yeah. God. <laughs> gist. I got the gist of it. Suck you. So if you guys want to just be sitting around, hanging out, drinking whiskey. It's whiskey season. Got to go to revelstokewhiskey.com or find it at your local liquor store. Pour yourself up a nice glass. Sip on that. Talk about, just talk about deep problems. Talk about how we're going to fix the world, you know? And then maybe you get, maybe you end up watching cops by the end of the night. <laughs> revelstokewhiskey.com. Oh my God, that's peachy. Ryan, go on. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> Guys being dudes. No matter how this podcast goes down, you want to come to my basement <laughs> and look at my Mossberg guns? Check out all your firearms. You want to? You want to, I got a new safe. Okay, here's the thing. Even though I've seen them all, I want to see them again. You want to touch them? I don't know why. Is this? If I know anything about Ryan, he loves touching other guys' guns. <laughs> Multiple times, especially over. when the barrel's as straight as a Mossberg's is. Yeah, because when Tell they're you straight, what, Ryan gets that <laughs> straight barrel in his hands, and it's just nut from there. <laughs> straight nut, baby. And uh, if you want your buddies to nut all when over they the hold floor. your guns, <laughs> you gotta go Mossberg dot com. <laughs> If you it's got, not if you the have... website that you think it is. It's not the website you think it is. 
Uh, it is a firearms website yeah. that has shotguns, rifles, handguns. Hand yeah. And fun Other, gun, and fun guns too. Zombie guns. Uh, yeah. Well, self defense, home defense guns, guys. Yeah, for zombies. If zombies come, correct. So they got all that at Mossberg.com. So if you want, <laughs> this is gonna, can I even say this on here? I don't know. We're gonna try it. Uh, <laughs> if you want the straightest fucking barrel in the world, and you want all your buddies. To nut. nut. <laughs> you got to go to Mossberg.com. <laughs> Ryan. Yellow. When was the last time you needed some gas? Um, well, last time I was at the gas station about uh, six hours ago. Oh, today even. <laughs> yeah. so wait, six hours? That had been in the middle of the work day. Every day. I, li- I, I, I <laughs> No. Well, eight hours ago. <laughs> uh, uh, early lunch, uh, early uh, lunch break. Okay. Early lunch break. And where'd you go? Uh, I mean, I just followed the neon blue lights. It's like a beacon it's, in the sky. It's You can't miss it. And it's just like a tractor beam. It's like, <laughs> it's like the bat signal, except yeah. for Midwesterners. Yeah. The holiday signal was in the air. Yeah. There's conveniently a neon blue light right on my way to work. I tell you mm-hmm. what, don't pass the gas station. <laughs> Go turn right in there. <laughs> Embrace the gas. Yeah. You're going to want to just get that gas and just release it <laughs> into your car. <laughs> and you're going to want to do that holiday. They got the best gas. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the gas that they got at home. Smells holiday. great, too. <laughs> it does. That they new, have the best you, smelling that gas. New ga- that new gas smell. <laughs> That shit Dude, is gas. It is gas. <laughs> it is gas. <laughs> you know what else is gas? What? Corn dogs. Oh, oh yeah. They got them at holiday. And you know what? If you get actual gas, they got Tums there. Actually, they I think toilets. if you buy stuff at in the convenience part of the gas station, you get like a coupon or something for gas, don't you? I don't know. I don't know. Usually they got stuff like that going on. I well, I always pay at the pump. Here's yeah. the here's the SOP. You 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 put your card in the gas pump, you get the gas going, and then you go inside and shop around. By the mm-hmm. time you get back. Gas oh, is that is, don't do, do that. not do not that. supposed to do that. Do not, I repeat, <laughs> don't do that. It says on the pump Stay not Stay with that. your car at all times. Yeah, don't do that. Don't listen to T-shirt guy. It's really bad advice. Yeah. You're banned. No, what Ryan, was, what Ryan meant to say was that you put it in there, and then whoever else is in the car with you watches the pump yep. while you go in oh, and look you. around. Anne's like our, uh, she's like our old bird dog for corn dogs. She just runs in there and grabs them and comes out while I'm filling up with gas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. My wife is in the car. Yeah, she's at the pump watching and intensively. Send in your the passenger seat. <laughs> just get a running start with the stroller. He comes back with only fucking Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> like, son. Hundred, give him a buck fifty. Comes back with hundred fifty yep. tootsie rolls. Yep, a couple cocktails. Hell yeah, hell yeah. They were good. So I'm a big if you want to, you want to not pass gas, turn right on into the holiday gas station. Don't pass gas. No. Station holiday. Don't pass it. Go to holiday. Jared, what up? Two hundred epis mm-hmm. under our belt. Put another notch on the old belt. Yep. Um, we got two notches now. Well, speak for yourself. I got two hundred notches. <laughs> I got about a buck ninety four. There's a little stint there. Mm-hmm. I was, I was sick. Hiatus. You run a I, No, I was sick. I was oh, sick yeah. on Tuesday evenings. He's like Walter White. <laughs> yeah. Buck ninety four under my belt. I got six more to go. We'll do a two hundred episode uh, recap for Ryan, the T-shirt guy. <laughs> the best Ryan moments. Yeah. <laughs> the best Ryan filler. Yeah, but mostly filler. Yeah. <laughs> the best filler. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I wonder how much, how long of a re- audio recording we could do if we just filled all of Ryan's filler. <laughs> Probably 200 episodes. <laughs> 200 hours. Like, if we just cut out Ryan's filler, our episodes go from 90 <laughs> minutes to 60. <laughs> Easy. Or just cut out all of you. Yeah, all of your guys is talking and just let me talk to myself. Because mm-hmm. that's basically what it is. Keep going. I don't think the world needs to hear that. Okay. That's what we do on the Double Bogey Show. <laughs> I know. I don't think the world needs to hear that. Hey. Found Raw Podcast can be found. Thank you. Uh, uh, Jared, you wanted to. You, you know what I learned about you, Jared? What? You're kind of a memory lane type of guy. Yeah. I'm Once good in a with while, history. you like to, to venture into history. 
Mm-hmm. You like to uh, put on your old pantalones, <laughs> your old uh, pantyhose. Your you know your uh, <laughs> your your uh, <sighs> explorer's cap. <laughs> Explore the past. Well, I, I, his buddies back in high school called him Curious Curious uh, Jared. No, no uh, his friends call him Whiskers because he's curious like a cat well, of like, the past. I like he's that. a Tomcat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Yeah, he's literally... No, he's... Is Jerry? Which, Jerry's, the, Jerry's, the, mouse. Jerry's the mouse, damn it. You're curious like a mouse. I'm curious like a mouse. About the past. Mm-hmm. So what are some of the... Highlights in the last hundred episodes because we kind of did this at episode one hundred. Yep. Yeah, fun fact about that one: Tyler was sick that day, so he couldn't reminisce. So yeah. Jake had to fill. So up. this is your first reminiscing it session. Is. Yep. Yep. Um, how many episodes have I missed, Jared? Uh, goose egg. Nothing. Yeah, zero, I believe. Mm-hmm. How many did you miss, Ryan? I think six. Like six. A handful. And how many is one? And it was a hundred plus all the forty or some that you had before you even were hired here. Yeah, so I didn't miss those. I just wasn't invited. So miss those, Jared. You missed a ton. You didn't get hired until way after. So I think yeah, I think my first one was like I one fifteen. Think I'm the yeah. I'm I'm like the steady Eddie. I'm like the I'm podcast. Like, you can is, count it's, on yeah, me. it is odd because it's called the You Bet Your Radio. What's my name? Miles, you, you betcha guy. No. no, my name is Miles. It's not you betcha. It's not Miles Radio. Yeah, yeah, it's not Miles Radio. <laughs> Sorry, I just bring my hard hat and lunch pail every single day. Yeah, no one calls me you betcha guy. Clock yeah. in, clock out. Keep your head down. Yeah. <laughs> Steady Eddie, straight on through. I um, just, I didn't know those. Names. I didn't know if that was the way. So it's nice to know. Yeah, zero. That? You said I've missed zero episodes. Yeah, because when you're sick, we because would just it doesn't skip. fucking matter. <laughs> yeah, the, I, it, I, it just I, doesn't matter what's going on in my life. I just show up. Well, the uh, had lunch bail every day. The me, the the Mexico vacation episode. It's almost like lights are on. No one is home. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's so probably like a half. Isn't that a Patreon, that Patreon one? Oh, episode fuck. six, Patreon. Okay. And okay. how many <laughs> Patreon? There's forty-seven episodes. Yeah, I don't think I missed any. Yeah. So. <laughs> 247 straight episodes. <laughs> Whoopsies. Anyways. Did I do that? Did I do that? What did he say? Uh, go I ahead, think for Jared. episode 300, you should take one off. You know what? That's At 2,000 patrons, Miles will take a podcast do off. Do you know? Hey. <laughs> we have 2,000 tomorrow. <laughs> like, <laughs> Get him out. I, I actually wasn't. What did you guys say? At 2,000 patrons, you'll take a podcast off. <laughs> take no. A and we hit 2,000 tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, people would start unsubscribing. We had to start back at zero. <laughs> no, we had to have Anna at 1,000 again. <laughs> we had to do it all over. Yep. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it takes it's a village. Of, you yep. know, podcasting is <laughs> a lot like trust. And you can spend a lifetime building up trust and it can be taken away in an instant and if that instant would be the one episode i missed is and the whole a, podcast would crumble to the ground is that one of the best lessons you've ever learned that's a, actually a great life lesson <laughs> i just taught the listeners so i mean you don't have to write that in your journal tonight miles had a great life lesson on ybr today <laughs> talking about trust it's not miles radio it's you bet your radio <laughs> and he hasn't missed Trust equals consistency. <laughs> hard hat. No one bell. cares. Bring your hard hat and lunch bell to work every day. <laughs> Otherwise, you may hurt your head and you might get hungry. <laughs> Those are the lessons I learned. It's got the longest page. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one quote. Yeah. Put yeah. that on a poster with a cat hanging on a ledge. Yeah. And then end quote at the end. <laughs> <laughs> write that in your journal tonight, guys. <laughs> and write end quote. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. No, yeah, no, no, I'm still put... going. This, this should be writing all of what I'm saying yeah. right now. It's just end quote. <laughs> write that in your journal tonight, guys. Yes. <laughs> yep. He said that in his own words. Right. Paraphrasing, but. <laughs> all right. Episode 101. Do dead diss track on Ryan. Mm. Oh, yeah. The diss track that was days were good. Diss track days. That would have been. How did that start? I know you made started. a you made a diss. You said that you you you. What was it? Something about you would rather be working for dude dad. No, no, I'd rather be working concrete for your dad than working for dude dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just an absolute ricochet shot. 
He did come for your throat. <laughs> he did, yeah. And I honestly didn't flinch a single bit. So as it was you're bit, being, as you're being decapitated. It was biz as usual. <laughs> so right after that, did you say that in your diss track to Miles, or was it casually? And then Doodad no. started the diss track. Thing. Casually, he just did. It. He just ricochet <laughs> shot. No, no we had to been talking about something. Yeah. All right. But, yeah. Jared's just gonna choose all all of memories are gonna be in one episode. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, this is like, yeah, I kind of it was a good it was so it was pulled up episode though. 101. <laughs> okay, episode 102. <laughs> episode one, no. Episode 109 was the first uh podcast we had in the studio. No mm-hmm. shit. That oh, was with Sean Stamali. We there's... did we did a hundred and eight episodes in bunker 1.0. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. That is Who, Sean Stamali? Yep. Yep. You did best things about you were on your hiatus yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new steward and yeah. i just got yeah it must have been that uh asbestos in here you yep. got sick for six weeks yep <laughs> couldn't make it in we brought you back after six weeks i don't know jesus I, it was a little bit longer we by the time you were back we had the we were having decorations in here then we just did it yeah. in this blank ass room at a yeah. desk yeah that was Ryan's idea. That's why he had his high haters. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let's go for like the minimalistic look. I didn't know who Sean Smalley was, so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, episode 111, Mason Ramsey was on. Hell yeah, Mason. That's when he was going through puberty. Again. <laughs> I remember this. You weren't there. There was Nashville. I know. I know. All right. Hey, why don't you just shut up? And act like you're a listener then if you don't know any of these. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So then you are now experiencing it live. This is you're the yep. first ever live. Well, not no, first ever. We had a studio in here. Yeah, we did. In this hundred. Yeah, we did. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know that either. So no, you, you said, just pretend like you are one of the listeners. You press download, you hit the subscribe button, you gave us a five star rating, the whole thing. And now you're just listening to this because you weren't a part of this. Just keep picking the episodes he wasn't on. Um, I'm just kidding, right? Wait, so the Ma- so talk about the Mason Ramsey one. We had we had the Yodel Boy Mason Ramsey on. Was it fun? And Ernest, right? Yep. yep. Mason and Ern, and we found out that Mason was uh learning how to sing Elvis. He was in the middle of recording an Elvis album. Yes. And he also challenged me to a one on one at the yeah. time. And I'm gonna be honest, I would not have let up on that kid. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna, and then there was like a, a tornado. That was the tornado. There was week. a lot of tornadic behavior. Yeah, <laughs> but in Nash- I don't think we're it in Nashville. hit Nashville because they have so many shingles there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that a Patreon? I don't know if you've explained. I don't remember. <laughs> if you want, there's somewhere Jared will figure out what episode I, or something. And then you Patreon. shot a TikTok with Mason Ramsey doing a dance to one of his millions songs. of views. Yeah. It's like the second TikTok he ever posted. I think that was actually before Ernest had put out his flower shops. Way song before too. it was, yeah. yeah. So not to brag. Been there. Yep. It's day one. Um, episode one eighteen is when Ryan He's uh, back. Did the duck walking thing. <laughs> oh no. What a what a grand entrance back into the YBR. Hey guys, you missed me. I might have been sexually assaulted as a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just <laughs> I don't know, Ryan. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. So relax, guys. <laughs> no, have you talked to anyone about that yet? By the way, this is kind of no. Like, I don't need to. After the smoke settles here, <laughs> no, the smoke hasn't settled. Okay, still smoking the air. Yeah, we'll revisit that when the smoke settles. A little litigation. <laughs> um, episode one twenty three was the first time Seaforth was on. That's what we did. Uh, oh yeah, translated to Australia. Belching. Yeah. Yep. I wasn't on that one either. <laughs> well, that was in Nashville. That yeah. wasn't. Yeah, because. Yeah. There's not a chance you're coming with on any trip. Yeah, I'm going on my for my thirtieth. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can see if I can get you in the stew. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one thirty nine is when uh, Dude, Dad, and Charlie were on. Oh yeah, after we shot. Oh yeah, after we shot the uh, hunting with your wife video. Jared's just going down the list and reading the titles <laughs> yeah, and then just saying he is. <laughs> <laughs> zero. Jared, turn, Jared, turn your phone around. <laughs> right there. <laughs> he's just reading the title. He did not go through. No, because when he's done this before, he's like, "And Miles, this was your direct quote," and then he'll say it <laughs> when he's prepared. Yep. But right now he's not. You can tell by the way that he's just going, 
Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Fuck, there's a guest. We had a guest on. <laughs> we had another guest. <laughs> the segment is shot. <laughs> Jared, I wasn't you, here, so why don't you go ahead and listen to about ten hours of footage and then come back with some quotes and then we'll finish the episode. <laughs> what were your guys' favorite moments? Do you I remember? don't remember, dude. One of my- I was drunk most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I want like okay. Like as a someone who has a following and does the entertainment thing for a living, I want to like you know, like you hear like the musicians are like Fuck, British Columbia, fucking 1998. <laughs> I was so fucked up on drugs. I don't even remember singing a single word out there on stage. But everyone told me that I just crushed it. <laughs> like everyone's got that story. Mm-hmm. Like I think mm-hmm. even Hardy had that story about how drunk he was, but he could still sing. Yep. I don't think I could pull that off on this podcast. I've never been that drunk. <laughs> Doing something. Well, what's the drunkest we've ever been on the maybe uh, drunkest I've ever been was when I was in Mexico. Oh yeah, yeah. for the Patreon episode. Yeah. That Lights were on. No one was oh. home. I was gonna say we got pretty tuned up at Clitheral with Fillmore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would I would say uh, Ice House special for me. I was hammered. <laughs> yeah, you, you kept which, moving the fucking tripod which in the one? middle of the podcast. The which first one? one? I mean, the first one when we pulled up. A delicious bass in the intro of the pod. Yeah, how electric that was, was that? pretty. Sweet. You were hammered for that podcast. Yeah, I, I don't remember. How do you even still have a job here? I don't remember getting drunk at work. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is your problem, Jared? I don't remember the last twenty minutes of that podcast. <laughs> really? Do you now remember, Jared? We'd be like in the middle of a bit. He just pick the tripod up and then readjust it. I don't know. I was so fucked up during that, that podcast. No, I'm just, we just find out we all of us didn't say anything to anyone, but we all were just hammered. Yeah, that was the New Year's resolution. That was the um the uh, ox cut the oxy like to... oxy cut? No hydroxy cut. Miles uh, said he was gonna get cut for his New Year's resolution. Yeah, probably one of the biggest laughs I've ever had to be honest. Ever. On the podcast. Okay. On the podcast. Yeah. yeah. That was in the last hundred episodes. That was a, that good, was a one. good one. One fifty two. Yeah, that um, was the ice fishing special. Mm-hmm. And then we did another one the next week in uh, uh in Cassie. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And they, they got dice thrown at you. Yeah. Dice thrown on my face. Almost front kicked a guy through the sheetrock. <laughs> oh, you had him dead to rights, but the safety was on. Dead to right, safety was on. Boots weren't tied, so. Is that it, Jared? <laughs> um, good. Can I can I name one real quick too? Um, when you when you started the intercom bit, <laughs> yeah, inter- I don't expect it. I never expect it because if I do, then I'm just gonna be disappointed that we didn't do it. But the Shriners bit <laughs> on the was intercom, that a Patreon episode? Patreon it was like episode two. One oh, or it two. was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was well, regardless, the intercom bit is probably my favorite bit of all time. Tyler Ziegler, will you please come to the office? There's water spraying everywhere. You fucking idiot. Quit hanging from the pipes. Your dad's here. He's going to beat your ass. (laughs) (laughs) You good? Sounds about right. (laughs) Bring your friends. We got to sandbag the hallways. Oh, I got another. I repeat, (laughs) sandbag hallways. The next good memory is the security at the Oscars when Will Smith smacked the fuck out of Chris Rock. We did that for 20 minutes, that oh, episode. Yeah. Well, well it was, oh, you're doing yeah. it wrong. You first got to... <laughs> <laughs> we got a situation out there on stage. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Hold on there, Jim. I got to get the crab cakes at the snack bar. (laughs) Over. Shrimp cocktail. Pretty hefty. Got to get one. Be there in a minute. (laughs) What happened over there anyway? I heard Will Smith's name. Over. (laughs) Over. (laughs) That was a fun one. That that might have been some of the hardest I've ever laughed on a podcast. Yeah, that was funny. Um, <laughs> the, the police at the doctor. <laughs> that was electric. That actually might be better than the Shriner. Put your hands up! Where's the joint? Where, where is the weed? 
<laughs> Who is the supplier? <laughs> Honestly, that just sounds like a Key and Peel skit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> just throws the fucking lab coat off. He's in full Rambo gear. <laughs> What's your name, Dylan? <laughs> My name's Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, Dylan? Dylan. 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 Um, what do you what do you got, Jared? This is. I mean, you would have. Go ahead. Uh, one six seven was the grilling episode. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to remind all. So first of all, I think that's our most listened to episode ever. <laughs> definitely top really? five. Really? Definitely top Holy five. Fuck. Yeah, I think it is. So if you are a new listener to You Bet Your Radio and you haven't listened to the Manly Things We Hate episode, episode 167. Episode 167, you got to go listen to it. It almost broke up the band. <laughs> we almost had a falling out. Just a short 33 episodes ago. Yeah. Tyler almost... Like nose dived through the glass at Jared. He almost <laughs> I've never seen him that mad at Jared before. No. Like and trust me, it's easy. Foul. It's easy to get mad at Jared. He's got the whole face. It's his face just will infuriate you, but you know, that's what everyone's anyone who knows Jared knows that he's just easy to get mad at. It's the it's yeah, it's the beard. He's it's always, always it's obnoxious. It's a fish yeah. thing. He never shuts up. It's a, it, it's a fish fish owners are at, they're only like that. Yeah. You can tell he's got that snooty look on his face. <sighs> this is great radio. <laughs> you would have thought after 200 episodes that we would that just, we we just be more together. dialed in. It is the most on-brand thing for us ever to have But I'm episodes. starting to sweat a little now because I thought we were going to... Anyways. Because now we're starting to get into the little bit, the fantasy football route of mm. like, hey, remember... you, And then... Yeah. And then you laughed, and then I I laughed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I hate. Uh, I I. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite thing to do. Yeah. What is man. your favorite thing to do? What? Okay, here we go. Pivot time here. Pivot. Ryan, currently, can't nothing about your kid, please. That's fine. What is your favorite thing to do in the world right now? <sighs> I'm going to catch a lot of flack. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. My favorite thing in the world right now is to post up in my basement for eight hours straight <laughs> and watch UFC. Oh, my God. You got bets going or what? I, I got all kinds of bets. Literally every single fight. Oh, yeah, like tell me about one. <laughs> no. Like, What's the next card? Next yeah. card, Wonderboy Thompson, Kevin Holland, main event. Fight night, though. It's on ESPN Plus for free if you have it. Um, <laughs> see, exactly. You don't... <laughs> what? I got all kinds of bets going. But that's my re that's my recharge time. So yeah, I, I need eight hours. You got to recharge for eight hours? Well, it just happens. To, I could recharge in two. It happens to be eight. So you're good for four charges then. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I am quadruply charged on Saturday evenings how during a pay-per-view event. How often are these events? Once a month. Yeah, so you only need to recharge eight hours once a month. That's your two for Yeah, so it's like week. two hours a week so that I recharge. So you better never stop working than the other times because you recharge for eight hours. Yeah, just two hours a week. That's all I need. Yeah. Good. That's your favorite thing to do in the world. Currently, right? that's my favorite thing to do. How, how do you like watching sports? Because I, too, am a... By Hun myself. Hunker down by myself and only watch sports alone. And I, I prefer that over any other atmosphere except for live at the event. Because then I can I can act however I want. I can mm -hmm. yell at the TV. I can cuss out the refs because they can hear me, right? Yeah. Do you guys ever when you, you guys ever when you're watching sports for hours at a time hit a moment where you're kind of sick of sitting down? So you'll just like stand up and you'll just be standing in the room. You probably have some sort of like there's a decoration on the coffee table that you pick up and you just kind of like toss around a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Or you'll just like walk to the kitchen, look at the kitchen and then just walk back to the living room. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone? You no, know? I, here's what I do. I, and this only happens when I'm that bored is I'll, I'll start screwing with like the lighting and the contrast on my TV <laughs> yeah. to see because maybe. Somewhere in that TV, there's a better picture than I already have. Yep. 
You're and not even may- watching TV at that point. No, exactly. It's like you just have turned it into a video game with trying to work the controls. Right, because sports is the best way to like get a solid, good-looking picture, right? Because you got green grass and whatever. Mm-hmm. So, Vibrant jerseys. Yes. So yeah, it maybe happens once, like biannually. Yeah. Biannually, I'll and usually I end up right back to where I started. Yeah, you just panic and you just go cancel, cancel, you go all cancel the way back. everything out. I'm not gonna, I can't retract my stuff. I like to see what my TV is capable of. I don't go straight to like the color of the TV. I'm like, what kind of settings does this bad boy have? Is there a sleep setting yeah. on here? You see I if don't you know. can like, get Safari on? on there. Yeah, and then, another yeah. move I like to do when I'm watching sports for an extended period of time is I kind of call it the the uh, the couch quarterback shuffle. Okay, you start sitting down. Okay, mm-hmm. then after a little bit, you lay down. Yeah, <laughs> and then after a little bit, you kind of do like the like lay on your stomach, lay on your side, whatever. <laughs> you know, you kick your feet up. Wait, so like, like sleep, hold on, hold on, okay, over. And then you sit back up again. And then you maybe like are being silly and you slide down, and now you're sitting on the floor <laughs> with your back against the couch. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. you're eventually standing. Then what you're doing is you're standing behind the couch, leaning on the back, and it's just this whole shuffle. Yeah. And you're yelling at the TV, watching sports, talking about how dumb that call was, how dumb that call was. And the whole time you're just you're not your whole your couch is home base. It doesn't matter if you're sitting, yep, standing, lying, anything. You're just doing the couch quarterback shuffle. I would say very rarely am I sitting with both ass cheeks like flat on the couch. No, I'm either never. like hands I'm either like your... one way this way and then my lower back will start hurting and then I'll switch the other way. I'll throw the pillow back on this mm-hmm. side, flip like that. Sometimes I mean, I'll even just sit on the like the ottoman in front of me. Feet on the oh, ground. Oh yeah. Yep. Like uh and it, like, that's like fists a... on my hands. <laughs> fists on my hands. How low is your TV? Hon? Fists on my chin and I'm just watching, watching sports. See, you guys know this about me. I'm a recliner guy. I go through a very similar motion, but just recliner you're, version. You're hitting the lever all day. Yep. I'm going, um, I'm starting just regular sitting, arms on the rests, boom, pop the lever, but the back is still straight up. And then the back starts to decline. And then maybe I'll grab a pillow, prop my head up. Maybe I'll do the side thing like Ryan. I was going to say, do you ever lay sideways on a recliner? Sometimes. It's a weird move, but it, it kind of hits. If yep. I ever have to sleep on a recliner, that's the position I'm I'm sleeping on my side for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do- I'm a, I'm a back sleeper right away, but then I always wake up uh, on my side. Once in a while, I like yeah. to go to lay on my stomach on a recliner. Yeah, that's good. For <laughs> stretch the chest. <laughs> your, your spine is so compressed when you wake up. <laughs> Could you imagine your face is just buried between the top pillow and the back <laughs> pillow? Just fucking I, I typically recline all the way. Hey, the, can you tell me what's going on with the game? I typically recline all the way and then just curl up in a ball. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit in the crack. Yeah. Yeah, just in a ball. It's it, fine. Just kind of like a dog does on a dog bed. Do you cry? Usually when I'm in a ball, I'm crying. Uh, depends on what type of night that was. Whiskey if you, night. If any of your bets hit night. or not. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. No, I like I like standing and watching sports. It's probably about the only television I watch that I will stand and watch. Well, it's good exercise too. How do you guys feel about the move when you're at a sports party, namely Super Bowl party? Mm. And you have to stand with your plate of food and you have to do the move where you're holding it and then you have a chip. In a dip, and then you have to bring both the plate, <laughs> yeah. bring both the plate and the chip to your mouth. Yeah, that's while, smart. While I like still to, chatting with your buddy next to you, I like to live dangerously and go opposite way. Plate full extension <laughs> with the arm, with the plate chip goes just, in the mouth. Just to see <laughs> if you can do it. That's the trombone method. Yeah, I mean, if you're on the hardwood, it don't matter. <laughs> and if you're hardwood, yeah, then it matters. Big if time. the game's got you super bricked up, you're fine. Well, I just mean like you're you're just mentally hard. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. That's exactly it's what hard, I mean. Hard wood. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do in this world. So it's it's so it's all sports so far. Do we get outside of sports? The favorite things to do. <sighs> um, new Pokemon game just came out. I've been okay. playing a lot Mute of that. Him. Mute him. Yeah. Mute him. <sighs> But tell uh, us more about it. Well, okay, what's the what's tell us, the, tell us about Pokemon, Tyler? No, come on, stop joking around. Tell us. I think he said, 
He wants to fuck them all. <laughs> Jesus. It's like a weird, hey, I'm back. weird anime <laughs> fetish she's got. Isn't that like a, that's what's a, the, that's a crime, the, isn't the, it? Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's playing just, Pokemon. They're cartoons. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, cartoons. <laughs> yeah, what, that was weird. What's the anime thing? <laughs> what's the, what's the anime Hentai. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler wishes that Pokemon was a hentai. I'm sure that would exist. Uh, Google it, Jared. What do I do? Google. No, don't Google that. It was a joke. <laughs> Ads blocker. Go ahead. Google it. <laughs> you won't do it. See what happens. <laughs> See I if you can still have a job here. <laughs> Should I do day. it? <laughs> <laughs> We're all being Dylan's to you right now. Yeah. It's like the uh, the video of the guy who is in the hotel room. They're all playing a pillow fight. He's like, Kevin, watch the light, dude. Watch the light. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin the light. looks at the camera straight in the eyes and just whips it and busts the light. Shatters the light. Kevin, watch the light, dude. Watch, the, watch light. the light. <laughs> That's old school YouTube. Yeah. Man. Is that what we're gonna do with the whole hente hente, hente situation? <laughs> hentai, Hyundai, 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 Hyundai Sonata. Yeah, is wait, is isn't hentai a car company? Yeah, I'm not Google. Now. It's a model of Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just anime bang bus. <laughs> Ryan's the driver. Really. <laughs> Complete deflection from Tyler. <laughs> what? I had nothing to do with hentai. That's all Tyler. And I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't put that on you. No, we were joking earlier that you were the driver of the bang bus. Yeah, before yeah, the, yeah. Before yeah. Started recording. Yeah. <laughs> Too many crashes uh, on the back. It says, "How is my driving?" <laughs> and I, I get I get fired within two trips because I just okay, can't focus on the light. Road. Light pull there. Fucking parked yeah, car over there. Like, there's not enough people <laughs> talking about that. The real hero of the bang bus is the guy driving it. How he's able to focus with that shit going on in the back. And if you don't know what we're talking, and he's got about, no radio either. If you don't know what we're talking about, you are too young for this podcast. Incognito window. Give that a Google. No. No, no. Don't even Google You're too it. young for this podcast if you don't know the bang bus by now. You are too um, young for this shit. Uh, kudos to that guy, though. <laughs> What's the job I mean, interview I mean, look like yeah. for that? <laughs> you got to have your CDL or not. Do you not? think you're like, you're like a limousine <laughs> yeah. driver? He wears like a suit, you know, like he's got one of those weird hats on. Probably. I would Probably. Like, look, I mean, he's a sh- he's essentially a chauffeur. Yeah. Can you imagine mid scene? He's like. Hey, I, uh, I'm pulling over for some gas. Just <laughs> mid pounding. I'm pulling over some gas. Anyone need anything from the gas station? Yeah, you guys look like you're working up an appetite. I'll grab you some snacks. I'll grab you some corn dogs. <laughs> you need a con? No, you guys don't use condoms. Yeah. Hey, you got hot or cold back there? Yeah. Is it, how's the heat? Yeah. Do you want? <laughs> how are the tunes, by the way? You want a different station? I'm just playing my Spotify recap right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's what you guys that, like, but now that's a skit right there. <laughs> the two talkative bang bus driver. Yeah. <laughs> Miles, we He's write. like looking in the rear view. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it hurts. He's like, wow. <laughs> You guys really know how to shave these days. <laughs> well, that's I think it's a, so is that laser <laughs> hair removal or what's going on there? He starts telling a story from 30 years ago, uh, 30 years ago about him and his wife, you know, like, yeah, we had a similar experience in our uh, station. <laughs> Subaru station wagon. <laughs> I don't think the station wagon was a Subaru. Oh, was it? I don't know. Subaru station. Um, yeah, it was. Know. No, it'd be like it'd be like in his Model T. (laughs) Welcome to the Model T. (laughs) That's his end of life. The Bang Model T is what it would be called. (laughs) His end of life wish. He just has. He's got one week left to live. He's like, I just want to drive the Bang bus. But that would be terrible. You. you, I think I'd prefer to be a passenger. (laughs) I don't want to drive. (laughs) You think? You think you pull up next to someone at a stoplight and they look at you and you just give them like the the no teeth nod smile? (laughs) Nothing going on here. Yeah. But if you're the passenger, you have directions. So you really have to be paying attention. You can't be looking in the back, seeing what's going on. If you miss a left turn, I mean, the scene's going to go on for another 18 minutes. I'm not talking about the the passenger riding shotgun, Ryan. (laughs) Do you think they got a passenger riding shotgun? (laughs) Wow. Maybe Bill is like, hey, can my buddy ride along today? Just (laughs) big, big fan. (laughs) <laughs> the guy riding passengers is the horniest guy in the world. He's literally taking time on midday. He's taking time midday to just ride shotgun at the bang bus. 
the dude riding passenger spontaneously <laughs> spontaneously combusted several times <laughs> in that trip. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. Uh, hello, officer. Was I speeding or what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah you were doing a 69 and a 55. <laughs> <laughs> oh, distracted driving, you say. No, I'm not distracted at all. <laughs> just doing my job. I get him from A to B. Oh, yeah. Next thing in driving, no, I was just. Checking the camera out and driving. Just, I'm just getting them from P to V. I mean, uh, A to B. P O V. Ah, P O V. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Literally, yeah, they're fucking back there. <laughs> you know, most people skip that part, but if you want to hop in, we can make this thing viral. Oh, hey, officer, this is great timing. Actually, we're at the part that most people skip, so this isn't yeah. a big deal. <laughs> Yeah, we actually got your, or, your, your... Oh, shit. You know, we weren't planning on filming a sh uh, cop scene, but why don't you hop on back there, man? <laughs> we got handcuffs. It's yeah. sweaty back there already. There's so. already handcuffs back there. You got the baton. It's, you're ready. <laughs> the handcuffs are ready to go. <laughs> Arrest me, officer. <laughs> yeah. I am a naughty, naughty person. <laughs> I have broken the law. <laughs> Arrest me no. now. Jim, you got the camera on? <laughs> now the driver's in the movie. He's an actor. Now it's just parked. Yeah. Little, There's no little, one to drive. Yeah. Little did you know that the driver is actually Johnny Sins. He, no, he's the cop. No, he's the cop. Yeah. <laughs> he's the cop and the construction worker yeah. in which you went 80 and a 25 through a construction zone and you're getting arrested. <laughs> Can you imagine though, like, because obviously Johnny says is not gonna be the cop that walks up. Can you imagine if you're driving the bang bus, it gets pulled over, and the white bald cop just starts walking up. You'd be like, "This is ironic. <laughs> I cannot believe this." Wait, is that my doctor? You're doing you're doing court the next. You know, day. you weirdly look a lot like my doctor. Has anyone ever told you that? Yeah, again? Yeah. Wait a second, haven't you been to space? Aren't you an astronaut? <laughs> You're doing court the next week. Johnny Sins walks up as your lawyer. Like, God, I didn't, I, I didn't know I was contracted again today. I was just showing up for a court date. <laughs> no, Johnny, this is actually real. This, this is, is part of the video? Okay. The judge. Thank I, God. I wouldn't know. I usually skip this part. <laughs> the judge hits the I gavel. I usually skip to the verdict. <laughs> it's Johnny's the judge. Reveal when he hits the gavel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're coming in back I with me. to when they're really banging the gavel. <laughs> this is just a production like like Eddie Murphy doing <laughs> doing one of those movies where he's like half the characters. It's yeah. just yeah. Johnny Mike Sins. Myers, like yeah. Austin Powers. Yeah. 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 Oh God! No matter how this goes down, you guys want to get a bang bus, shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I call all time driver. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is coming? Because <laughs> oh god, nice coming. Yeah. Uh, wow, this would be on the episode three hundred recap. Jared Market, Market, yeah. <laughs> right, Miles. You then said, yeah. you then then said, I, I and I quote, we were going sixty nine <laughs> in a fifty five. <laughs> oh, oh god. god. <laughs> You're gonna say that. <laughs> That's just what happens when you're together for 200 episodes. Yeah. Telepathy. What a life the driver of the bang bus has got. <laughs> I just, I can't. There's not many jobs like that. Also, there is the mentor, <laughs> mental wherewithal on that guy to be able to just keep it between the lines, keep it between the legs. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Also, may I add, there is one car salesman out there that is able to go up to his buddies and say, I sold the bank. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like a used car lot that's like on yeah. the side of a highway. And, yeah. and he's bald. He's a bald white yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, he sold it for $69.69. $6,900. It's yours. <laughs> We even gutted the back for you because <laughs> we knew you were coming in. Look at all this space. You can fit a bed back here if you wanted. <laughs> There's room for four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jared doesn't think this is as funny as we do. Yeah, it's all good.
<laughs> that was Jared, great. You do know what the bang bus is, right? <laughs> Suing that people bang on a bus. <laughs> yeah. You're too Jared. young for this podcast. Yeah. Jared, you know what it is. You, dude. you don't know what a bang bus is? I've never seen it. I haven't either. Are you saying Except- that because your girlfriend's listening? Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, I've okay. never seen one. <laughs> I've never seen one in person, no. <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> True. You know every I mean? every, every <laughs> the next the next week, every van I pull next to him be like, look it in the fuck. <laughs> Those windows are tinted. You think what do you think's going on, babe? That's I better call it in. I know and I'm going to stay here until the cops yeah, arrive. Yeah. You're Just not to, going anywhere. I'm, citizens arrest. Let me take a peek back there. <laughs> this is neighborhood watch. And I'm out of my jurisdiction, but you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you citizens arrest the bang bus driver. For and it's just like a church bus bringing the kids to Bible camp. <laughs> Like the YMCA bus. <laughs> yeah. You go to the pool or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. No, I better stay here. I'm going to stay here for a while. Just in case you got any, you know, you never know. You got a flat? Can I help you with the flat tire? <laughs> Sir, I got jumper cables in the back. If you really need them. No, I'm a call guy. I know a pretty good bald cop that's coming. <laughs> Oh, Jared, you got to go watch some big boss. <laughs> yeah, you got homework. <laughs> There's not many bosses in the world that would tell you yeah. to do that, Jared. Holy fuck. We hey, episode 300, we got to get we got to get Johnny Sins on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good good guy I've heard how far we've come from bird box the Vikings yeah. had him on the big screen yeah, yeah. they did <laughs> for veterans day yeah. somebody put out a picture of him wearing a military uniform and they put it on the fucking yeah, jumbotron that. Yeah. and the, oh. it was a tweet so it was like this is my brother he served two tours overseas I respect him so much <laughs> <laughs> he's he's an electrician on the side and he usually door dashes in the evenings. <laughs> he was a plumber to start, but now he's a doctor and an astronaut. Now he's a chauffeur uh, of a party bus. <laughs> oh God. We gotta end this podcast. You gotta go pick up your kid, Ryan. All right, guys. That's it. That's episode 200, 200 baby. <laughs> <laughs> We got to get sins on. <laughs> I'll get Brent on that. Officer pulls over. Is there any activity going on in the back? And then you're like, <laughs> officer, how could you tell? Well, the license plate says bang bus on it. So <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's probably wasn't our best move putting that on there. <laughs> Weirdly, it wasn't taken. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're trying to just fly under the radar, but it's just B N G B U S. Sorry, officer. We tinted the windows trying to fly under the radar, but they got yeah. bang buses the <laughs> license plate. Yeah, the intern must have switched out the license plates earlier. <laughs> uh you, you wouldn't be the intern's a fuck. He's this, you know, this bald guy we know. <laughs> Everyone around the office loves him, though. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he'd been in the military for 20 years, and he had to intern with us before we got out from full time. So that's why he's so old. <laughs> oh, we got to end it. We got to end it. We, we, we keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, career change. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. You got to go. Hey, we're coming up, by the way. We're coming up with our goal for 2,000 patrons. We're going to let you know. Let us know if you have any ideas. Um, but we're on the road to 2,000 now. We'll get you a goal here soon. we got a bunch of stuff on the website for Christmas gifts and yeah, whatnot. Oh, you bet you. Yep. com. Shipping. Guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. May your bus be banged.
and your hot dubs be not full of pee. Be under 25. Cheers, Ryan. Not. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.